our judgments upon the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, of course, Ikhwan, again, a side issue, we know that the urf of the people, the customs of the people, it has an i'tibar in al-Islam. If the people are doing a particular custom, it has consideration in the religion. We shorten our trip when we do a distance that those people consider to be a trip. The urf has an i'tibar. But we're talking about when the urf is mukhalif, is going against the deen, we don't judge by people's culture. We don't judge by democracy. Well, here's a problem we have right here today. Since we're living in the West, since we're living in America, we have to judge with democracy. As I mentioned to you brothers, in the last two weeks, they have given the people in America who do the actions of the people of Lut, they have given them unprecedented rights. Now, now, the child has the right and the school has the right to teach what they call alternate education, where you teach alternate lifestyles in the school system so that your child, if he goes to the public school, can be exposed and introduced to, to lesbians. It used to be that on the books, if a person got caught doing the amalia, that he can be brought to trial for sodomy. They took that off now. So now they said, if a Muslim or anybody in the city, if one of those people come to you and they want to rent your house, your apartment, your flat, if you discriminate against them, you're going to jail. If they come to work for you in your business, if you discriminate against them because of what they do, you're going to jail. The Muslim says, well, I'm living in America. This is democracy. I have to practice democracy here. All the while, every day, when one of us goes to them with the lihya, they discriminate against us. And they have no haya about it. But when the tables are turned, you'll find the Muslim being sincere, having ikhlas, and executing the way those people think and what they want from us. We can't discriminate. We say, la, la, la. Wallahi, we'll discriminate, but we'll discriminate in a way where we don't get in trouble. The Muslim is a dentist. One of those people come and he has that disease, that tremendous disease that Allah put in those people. If he refuses to treat him, he may get his business taken away from him. So, as the Muslim dentist, I'm going to take a big, big needle and stick it in his gum. <laughs> And I'm going to numb all of the parts of his mouth to get that one too. No, I'm just joking. Of course, they'll take this kalam and get us all in trouble. It's a conspiracy. Everyone in the masjid. We're just joking, Ikhwan. The point is, Ikhwan, we judge by the book of Allah Azza wa Jal and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam according to what the companions understood and what they were upon.